Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, beetle bifles. You know, the small hive beetle is a problem everybody's got to a certain extent. Some places are worse than others. I've got guys in southern Mississippi that I know and some guys in Australia. If they can't control the hive beetles, they can't raise bees. They just devastate a hive. And uh, <laughs> get a little closer here. Yeah, this is a bottom board. I only run solid bottom boards uh, with a beetle buff on it. This is this aluminum strip here all the way around, three sides. This here is a beetle trap. We're going to do both of them today, build them. And on the top, on the bottom of your deep box, we'll put aluminum strip. So when you got the whole thing together you've got a whole barrier that the beetles get down under on the bottom board they can't climb up over this aluminum strip and I'll tell you why here in a little bit we get set up and we'll go to building it <clears throat> okay we're back what we're going to do first is place the hole for the beetle trap you want it back close to the back as you can get. Some people will want the, the jar to hang underneath the inside of the high stand. Some will be on the outside. Just whatever you prefer, uh, lay it out. Of course, I, I do so many of them. I've got a template made where I want it. You need a two and three quarter inch hole saw. Try to drill it where I can finish it up on the back side, that way it doesn't split the board out. <clears throat> Come out. Okay, now a two and three quarter inch hole. It's just a fuzz small, so I use a rotary file. Come up here and just trim it out just a little bit. Now what we're using here is a half pint ball jar or mason jar. I had I use ball, I think mason jars are the same exact size. What you want to do, you want to come in from the bottom side. Not where, this is the top where your hive will be. You want to come in from the bottom side. Start that in there. That might be just a little tight yet. Come in from the bottom side. I typically just take a rubber mallet. And tap that in there. And there you got, that's the trap. The lid stays in there. And you take a piece of eighth inch hardware cloth and cut it to the diameter of your lid. And you need a number nine Phillips screwdriver. And the reason you do this, the eighth inch hardware cloth is good for most beetles, but you get some of them big ones that can't get through an eighth inch. 
So you put about half a dozen, a few more bigger holes in with this screwdriver. Stick it down in there. That's the end of the beetle trap. I'll tell you how that works here in a minute. Get rid of that. Okay, now we're into the stages of the beetle, the beetle baffle. What you want to do, you want to cut to get you some 20 inch wide aluminum flashing. You cut strips off of it an inch and an eighth. Uh, you can use scissors, you can use tin snips, a, a, a paper cutter. I use paper cutter because I do so many of them. Or you can actually score it with a straight edge with a razor knife four or five times and it'll break. But you got to have an inch and an eighth strip. And then we're going to put a coating on that. And the coating is called Never Wet. It's by Rust-Oleum, it comes in a kit, it's a two-part thing. Spray a base coat, wait 30 minutes, and then spray a top coat. And the guy come up with this, his name is Jeff Ward, we'll give him credit. And what happens, this never wet, this finish it puts on here, the pads on the beetle's feet, they can't walk on it. It's underneath, we'll put it underneath, and they come up there and get on that, they fall back on the bottom board. They, can't, they just can't climb on it. Bees have no trouble climbing on it. So, you, you take these, cut your strips, go out there and paint your base coat on, wait 30 minutes dry, and then you put your finish coat on. Now, 20 inch strip, you need to cut about a quarter inch off of it. It'll be too long for the boards. You put the never wet side da uh, down, the slick side up, where it's not been that. Pretty simple. Just put a staple there, one in the middle. Then you can cut your strip with a bag. And there you are, our beetle baffles is installed. Now, on the front, where your entrance is going to be, let me get another strip. put this strip on the bottom of the hive body. You just come up there. I always make mine just a little short of the width of the board. Now when you staple this one on, you want, want the uh, never wet side facing up because when you put it down that gives you your bear facing the right way. Two staples, all this. That way, when it goes on the box, we got the barrier which I showed you inside on that. The beetles get on to come in on the front of the hive and they get in the bottom. The bees run them back, run them down in that hardware cloth. They think they can get out there and hide. And you feel you put about a quarter to a half inch of mineral on the bottom of this tray, jar. And the beetles fall down there as soon as they hit the oil, they're done. No, not a problem on that. that. That's how all that works. What have I forgot? I think that's it. Pretty, pretty simple, easy to make. The never wet. It's a little pricey. Cost you about $22 for a cab. 
but it'll do about 75 bottom boards so if you're got a lot of them to do it, it makes it worth a while if you're doing one or two it uh, it's pretty pricey oh i know what you'll say and before we've been running these bottom boards we've been using skull cans in the bottom of here takes a different hole size but there's a little bit of problem getting in and out so that's why we went to the jar and the jar has not been tested yet some people are afraid that the light shining in the bottom won't uh, make the beetles go down in it if so we may have to paint the bottom of it black or something just to do that but it does work take care of a lot of beetle problems i'm joe may thanks for watching little bits honey you Honey Bees YouTube channel. We'll catch you next time.